Hello everybody, this is Mad Cat Sphere, also known as uh, Ricky Cespedes, is my original name. And I'm here with another video of spirituality. I want to talk about um, um, the idea of uh, there being uh, um, aliens controlling, um, you know, the afterlife and and uh, creating the game and and having a, a soul contract and all this stuff, you know, that I've seen other people talk about. And these aliens are called, from what I've seen, they're called uh, Archons. I think that's how I pronounce it. They're called Archons. And they're like regular um, aliens. Like they show pictures of them. I don't know if they're just like a thought for the thumbnail or whatever. But um, they say that they're like uh, human entities. Like they're shaped like humans. Um, but I think that they really don't know how they really don't know how they really look. I think they're just like like aliens, you know, like however you think they look is how they are. You know, the big head and the big eyes and everything and the um and I think that I personally think that there there pop there is no um aliens that are controlling um this uh this universe or this game or this 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 uh simulation or whatever it is. Um I think that uh life is too straightforward and too simple and and it's too much in our favor for there to be some um sinister uh, thing going on, you know, there, uh, um, I think that, that, that it's all us, that, that it's all us, us, the, 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 the spirits, the, we are, because the thing is though is that we are the Loch Ness Monster, we are the, the aliens, we are the ghosts, we are the, the dragons, the, you know, the monster under the bed, the monster in the closet. We are all of that which we imagine. We are, we encompass all of that. We are the, the totality of everything. So there's nothing that's sinister going be behind the door, behind curtains. You know, we're the ones that put ourselves in this situation. And we're the ones that are pulling the strings. You know, because things are, because um, I think that life, you know, the, 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 the thing is though is that, um, the reason why I don't think there's no archons or no aliens is because uh, life is too uh, <clears throat> life is too simple and straightforward, and it's too um, it's too uh, w w w within our favor, within our power, for there to be um, anything that's sinister. And the, the thing is, though, is that the reason why there's people creating these ideas it, it's a very intriguing idea that there's like these aliens that are you know um suppressing the spirits and creating this this uh virtual you know this virtual uh afterlife that's it's all like you you know that that the that it's basically the afterlife is like your own love projecting out and back at you you know the craze the simulation or whatever it's a very intriguing thing it's a very intriguing idea but um i think that that um the reason why people create these ideas, the main thing is because they're just lost <clears throat> in the game. They're trying to figure out what's going on, you know, and they're not sure what is happening. And they're trying to, um, they're just clueless and they're trying to, you know, they think that, you know, well, you know, like it, what it is that they're like, you know, why am I here? You know, uh, I don't like this life, you know, this, this seems like torture. It seems like entrapment, like I spoke in the video. And so the only thing they could think of is that they look at the afterlife and then they add their own point of view at it in a negative way. Like, well, well, maybe there isn't a God. Maybe there's these aliens that are that are trying to be like gods and they're trying to control us because they're jealous of us because the spirits are very powerful and and that they're not as creative creative as us and they're not as and they're they're, they're immortal. They're not immortal like us and that they, they want to uh you know they're like parasites that eat off our emotional thoughts and imagination when we're in this living realm they feed off of that energy they eat it you know that's how they survive i guess and um what it is is that it's just people being paranoid they don't understand the game they don't understand the simplicity of the game they they're they're basically digging themselves into their own hysteria their own uh, deep in psychosis um, they're just running themselves in the dark because they just don't know and that's how the game was supposed to be anyways for us to discover and think that's how separate countries create their own religions you know because every uh, different race and creed and religion creates their own um, 
um, their own um, their own perception of what a God is, what afterlife is. And, and, and it's because each separate person, each separate race uh, exists in their own bubble, their own bubble. They're born in a separate part of the planet and they have a different point of view and they have a different way of, of going at what life is about. You know, they go at different angles. But at the end of the day, no matter how different, you know, um, your religion is from my religion, from whatever country you are, China or whatever, or in India or whatever, when we all pass away, we're all going to end up in the same place. All in the same place. We're all going to see the light. We're all going to go in the same, the same uh, beautiful paradise. You know, we're all going to end up being there no matter, no matter what religion, no matter how your God looks like or, or what you believe in. When we die, we all go up in the same place. And, um, and the thing is, though, to go back to the Archons, the Archons, it's a good concept. I don't think that there are Archons. I think that the more that we learn about the afterlife, the more that we realize that we're just lost and we're discovering ourselves. We're discovering that we, we, we create the game and there's nothing to fear. We're the ones, you know, that are pulling the strings behind our own backs. We're the ones doing it. You know, we're just lost. And, and, and everything will be clear. And... And the thing is, though, is that uh, the, the Archons, that they don't exist, but it is a great idea because what it is, is that it's a very intriguing idea because then we can, um, you know, um, you know, have an uprise against the aliens, to have an uprise against the, the evil, you know, you know, have a, be, uh, have the spirits uh, wake up and join together and fight, fight the aliens. You know, let, 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 let's, let's make sure that we're free forever, you know, that we destroy the Archons, you know. Let's go, let's go, let's go uh, join their spiritual army and go fight this, this, this go, go to their spaceships and fight them and have a big old battle of good and evil coming together and clashing, you know, like a big old war. You know, like, the, it's a very intriguing idea, it's a very cool concept. You know, that maybe, you know, if it is real, that maybe we can have an uprise. And the, the adventure doesn't end when you die, you know, we all just kind of huddle up and try to bide our time to kill off these aliens and, you know, make plans, you know, but uh, we, but the thing is, though, is that when you look into the spiritual life deep, deep, and you see that you're, the way that you are now is the way that you are when you're dead, and a lot of people don't end up going to heaven because they choose not to go, which is, just, like, insane. They choose not to go, and they choose to go to different parts, different layers of different existences and they go to their own group that's the same mentality as them, the same thoughts and ideas as them and they end up staying there and I don't know what the heck they do like really you know like they don't eat, they don't drink, they don't sleep there's no um, sexuality or nothing which is probably better but like really they're just like walking around in a circle you know they're just like you know what are they doing it's talking all the damn time you know they're not really feeling bl blissful or serenity they're below, you know, they're in their own little bubble. They're, they're, they're not feeling the love from heaven. They're lost. They made themselves love, which I hope, you know, I hope we don't become lost. I hope the light intercepts us all and takes us there. But just accept the light and just go to heaven. But, you know, that, that that's just the thing is that, is that you, you know, um, we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, there, there, I believe there are no archons, there are no aliens. It, everything is okay, you know. Um. We're the ones pulling the strings. We're the ones playing. We're the ones that are everything. We are the aliens. We are the, the Loch Ness monster, the the Yeti, the Bigfoot, the ghosts, the mo monsters, the aliens. We are all of that. We are that. You know. We're the ninth. I guess you said the eighth and ninth. We're the ninth wonder of the world. We're the eighth wonder. The human race is the eighth, ninth wonder of the world. We're we are the wonder of the world. We are that man. We're that. We're that. You know? So, I, you know, there's nothing to fear, man. There's nothing to fear. And uh, I have some other things I forgot to want to say. Something really detailed. But I'll put it under the video. And uh, this is Ricky Cespedes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Mad Cat Sphere, a.k.a. Ricky Cespedes. Thank you guys for watching. My spiritual idea that the Archons... Um, I really don't think there is any. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. But if there is, we can have an, um, an uprise and whoop some ass. You know? And this week's says this. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.